Hey, what's up guys? So in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to do text motion tracking. As you guys can see here on the picture, on the video, the Logitech C920 1080p is stationary. Now over here on the Roma Sense 4, as you can see, it is moving around with the product. So if I move the product up or down, the text will move along with the product. Now I'm going to show you, I'm going to be showing you guys how to do that in this video. So with that being said, let's get started. All right. So this is how I did that effect. So I have my two clips in there, the Romas and the Logitech. I'm going to right click the first on the Logitech, the webcam first, and I'm going to click on replace with After Effects composition. So that's going to open up After Effects CS6. All right, so now I'm going to go ahead and click on After Effects and I'm going to save the new project as let's do test one, two, three. And now I'm going to right click in this box right here and I'm going to click on new and then I'm going to do, I'm going to click on null object. Now, once null object is in there, I'm going to click on tracker. Now, if you don't have tracker over here in this box, you're going to click on window and then you're going to click on tracker, which is right there. And that's going to add tracker. So now that I have tracker here, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to click on my video clip, which is right there. This is my video clip and I'm going to click on track motion. Now I'm going to zoom in with the scroll wheel on my mouse and I'm going to move this over to somewhere where there's high contrast. So let's, uh, let's move that over there. Now the idea is you want to get it into a certain spot that it could differentiate from the rest of the, the rest of the video picture. So I'm going to put it in there. Let's make a nice big square around that. And then we'll add that right there. And now what, what I'm going to do next is I'm going to click on this button right here analyze forward and that's going to set the tracking that's going to start tracking so I will be back when that's done all right so I'm back now the tracking is all done as you can see there the box around there has stayed and it moved around in all those lo in and the, the, the sorry the tracker just stayed there as you can see it stayed in position no matter where I moved it so now that we have that set what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to click on I'm going to click on edit target and I'm going to choose null one that's the that's the thing we just added there and then I'm going to click OK now once that is done I'm going to click on apply and apply dimensions X and Y click OK and now that that's done I'm going to click on the null I'm going to open up and click on the down arrow which is right there transform Let's click on the arrow, down arrow by transform and then I'm going to click on position. Now once I have position clicked I'm just going to highlight that just to make sure I have that there and I'm going to click on animation or you know what I'm just going to right click here that's easier keyframe assistant easy ease and I'm going to click on that. Now once that is done I'm going to press on control T to add my text because I want to add my text now and then I'm going to type in Logitech C920 1080p and here you can mess around with all this with all the, the fonts and everything like that so if you had a different font you would mess around with it right here I don't want to drag this video too long but let's let's add that light right there and now what I'm going to do next is since I already have my text which is right there which I added right there I'm going to click on this little snail icon right here under parent. I'm going to click on that and then I'm going to drag, click it, drag and drop it on null one. Now, once that is done, as you guys can see, the text is going to move with the webcam or it's going to stay in the same place. It's going to be stationary. Now, so that's pretty much done. If I head over, if I head on over now to Premiere, as you guys will see, that's already, that's already in there that's embedded in there. So as you can see, that's there and I'm going to move that around and as you can see, it's already set in there. So you don't need to save anything in into After Effects. So now I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing with the next clip, which is the Romas. I'm going to click on that. I'm going to right click. I'm going to click on replace with After Effects composition. I'm going to go ahead, and open up my After Effects now. And as you can see, the clip is in there. So now what I'm going to do is again, I'm going to add another. I'm going to add a new then I'm going to click on null object. 
So once I have null object in there, what I'm going to do next is I'm going to click on tracker. And within tracker, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to click on my video clip, which is right here. And then I'm going to click on track motion. Now, once I have track motion in there, again, you want to find the highest contrast area. So over here in this white thing right here, I can't really, I don't find anything that's high con highly contrasted, which is very bright. So what I'm going to do in this case is I'm just going to circle around the whole thing, the whole word right there. And let's open that up. And now I'm going to click on analyze forward and hopefully that tracker is going to stay there and as soon as that is done I will be right back to show you guys as you guys can see that followed through the whole thing that tracked the whole all the movement without actually moving so now what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna click on edit target all the way on the bottom right and I'm gonna click on null 2 now let's click OK and then we're going to click on apply so apply dimensions X and Y, we're going to click OK. Now once that's applied, in Null 2, you're going to click on the down arrow, then you're going to click on Transform, click on the position, highlight the whole position, make sure it's all highlighted, right click, then click on Keyframe Assistant, Easy Ease, and that's pretty much it. Now what you're going to do next after that is you're going to click on your keyboard Control T, because now we're going to add text. And let's type in, for me, I'm going to type in Romas Sense 4, sorry, 4. And now, if I wanted to move around the text, obviously I can move that around wherever I wanted to. It's no big deal. And here, obviously, you can edit the font if you did want to edit the font. So anyway, once I have that set, I'm going to leave that right there. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on this little squirrel icon right there, under the uh, right near the text, on the side of the text. And I'm going to hit on hit that with my mouse, click it and drag all the way to null 2. And now if you guys go if you guys see what I did there, it's actually the the Roma Sense 4, the text is following the the product right there. Now if I were to take this off just a second, I'm going to undo what I just did just to show you. As you can see the product is moving, but the text is just staying in one stationary one spot. Now let me redo that. So again, I'm going to click on that little snail thing, hit that null 2, and as you can see, because it's a little bit blurry right there, as soon as I export it, everything's going to be fine. But anyway, that's pretty much that's pretty much done. Now if I minimize that, I go back into Premiere, as you can see there, the Logitech C920, 1080p is there, and now the Roma Sense. That's going to take some time until it renders that. Okay, there we go, it's done. And as you can see there, the Roma Sense is following that wherever wherever it goes. Now basically what you would do from here is you would just export the file like you would normally do when uploading to YouTube or whatever. You would click on File Export, do the same thing as you usually do, and that's pretty much how you do it. So anyway, I hope this video helped you out. If it did, leave a thumbs up. Thanks for watching, and until next time, I'll catch you guys on the flip side.